When I was a kid, I saw everything upside down. I remember spending all my time in the now, right? I hadn't yet learned to contemplate worst case scenarios. And when I was a kid, I was pretty much detached from reality. And I'd have my Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers battling on the bedroom floor. I hadn't learned that playing with action figures doesn't get you a job. And when I was a kid, I wanted to be the next Steven Spielberg or play in Blink-182 or maybe be the president of the United States, right? What excited me, I gravitated toward. I hadn't yet learned that the statistical likelihood of accomplishing something like that was 0.0001%. When I was a kid, I was so captivated by imagination that I wouldn't even want to go to bed, right? The, the excitement and the mere possibility of the world around me kept me awake. I hadn't learned to settle down or go with the flow. When I was a kid, I did what felt right. I was led by curiosity, by a sense of exploration. I hadn't yet learned to weigh the opinions of others or the pressure of conformity. When I was a kid, I saw everything upside down. And when I was a kid, I was right. And perhaps there is no message more important than that. To move forward without leaving the best of you behind. Not to grow away from what matters most, but to grow into it. See, every so often I take a step back and I look at the world around me, pushing, pulling me to be something I'm not, and I think back to my younger self. A life without walls or barriers, a life in pursuit of happiness, and I'm always amazed at how fast an exceptional existence becomes a checklist. Look, life changes, responsibilities change, parameters shift, but it will never be wrong to ask yourself what matters. Are you waking up for you or for something or someone else? So stop, look in the mirror and decide which way is up and which way is down. Because the journey awaits.